just different when it hits home. We couldn't even talk to her inside her house about what Jennifer Helms says is the worst moment of her life. I just want to hold him. Jennifer just lost her 13-year-old son, Porter Helm, to COVID-19 yesterday. Most horrible thing I've ever been through. She still hasn't even had one last time to see him or tell him that she loves him, but she already knows what she will tell him when she gets to see him for the last time. Oh my God, Betty. I miss you so much. I'd give anything if you were still here. Jennifer is among the thousands on oxygen tonight, also now battling COVID-19 from home. She could barely breathe when she tried to tell us how her son Porter took his last breath yesterday morning after he woke up coughing at his dad's house. He gave him some medicine and waited a little bit and went back and checked on him. And uh, when he went back and checked on him, he was, he was not breathing. Porter was a lover of video games who made everyone laugh. He was unvaccinated and tested positive for COVID-19 just one day after his mom. There's not enough research. But he didn't even make it a week. Jennifer says she believes Porter caught it from Coosa High School, where there are 11 cases already in three days. She now supports the latest call from Democrats. We're asking that the schools be closed until uh, all of the children are able to get the, the vaccine. Absolutely. I mean, you can't keep just, just farming these kids around in these schools. But Governor Kemp's office still isn't budging. The science and the data are pretty clear that kids need to be in the classroom to be able to learn well. It's not being taken seriously.